so that is to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising, Love and Relationship Tarot Reading, uh, January 6th to January 12th, uh, 2019, uh, 2020, oh my god, what am I talking about, so 2020, all right? And uh, that being said, guys, in case you do want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check out uh, the description down below uh, in this video. And there you're going to find a link to my website, uh, which contains, of course, all of my services, their pricings and contact form. So that being said, let's uh, let's pull for uh, Aquarius. Now, uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of your love and relationship week here, Aquarius, that is to be the Five of Swords, followed by the next one here, which represents the energies that uh, are going to support the topic. We do have the King of Swords, followed by the third one, which represents the uh, challenges that uh, you will need to overcome uh, throughout the week. That is to be the Four of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which is the Gifts and the Blessings um that you are going to enjoy in term of love and relationship we do have the third one uh which represents how other people sees you okay how your friends and families are seeing you how your partner is seeing you and so on and so forth and we do have the three of wands followed by the next one which represents uh what you can do in order to help your long-term uh, love and relationship goal that is to be the um wheel of fortune the next one it is what is gonna hurt your long-term love and relationship goal that is going to be the four card and then what we do have it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you Aquarius in terms of love and relationship that is going to be the nine of wands all right so that is a pretty straightforward reading here what we do have for you and uh let's say let's have a look at the first two cards so we do have the five of swords and the king of swords energies and uh we do have the topic in the team and these two cards are just are kind of like screaming that you will that you will want to have certain answers throughout this week what i mean it is that uh these energies that are forming for you aquarius are gonna make you more and more convinced that um the situation you are in it's kind of becoming how can i say it um more in flux than anything else does this make sense uh it's it's like a uh, the, the situation is becoming not stagnated but more and more deprived and by those this warmth that you are usually experiencing into it you know that thrill this um exhilaration and all these kind of stuff now very important here is to be um protective of of oneself with those two cards because they point that your trust may be taken as an advantage of okay so someone may betray your trust you have to as well protect yourself from a humiliation that being said uh, don't how can i say it don't uh, share any deep secrets of your of, of yours no matter how much you love that person and how much you trust that person as well with those energies it is very important to think carefully you know what are going to be the effective methods and actions for you to further your career and uh, your relationship and love uh, go excuse me now um, i want to give you an example here just so you know what i'm talking about um so let's say uh say a relationship two people are loving each other very much but one of them it's a gambler all right and the other needs to just put an ultimatum to the gambler although uh, uh it loves him way too much but if that person keeps on gambling then th that relationship is over so uh, this is despite of your emotional attachment is what i'm trying to say here you have to pretty much think straight sober 
and make your own personal conclusion of how far this interaction or relationship can go. And for some of you, it can go very far and that's great, all right? But for some of you, it may not go that far and therefore you have to be objective in regards to it. Now, once you do it, uh, these energies are saying that through that analysis that you're gonna do, whatever troubles you do have into that relationship are going to, you are gonna find a solution for them because this is what the King of Swords is all about. Through analysis, the way out of difficulties is revealed. And now it comes to you, do you have the guts to walk on that way, okay? And with the Five of Swords, it does look like, it does look like that you do have it. It's just you have to be very careful here not to abuse your uh, uh, presence, power, stand, state, and so on and so forth. And at the end, to have a victory, but it turned out to be a, a bitter victory. So a little bit compassion, it will serve you a, a long way. So what is going to be the challenge? And that is the four of pentacles. And uh, the challenge for you is to be is to figure out how to and how to seek, ensure a, a secure future for yourself and your person of interest and for the relationship that you are in right now. And in order to do so with the Four of Pentacles, you have to work on the foundations, which in one relationship, the foundation is not love, it is trust. So you have to work on the trust. And that's not, say, uh, 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 how can I say it, a, a very good um, fulcrum that we do have right now is the five of swords points that your trust may be betrayed and this is where the challenge the challenge comes from can i trust that person once again i mean it's it's all up to you the next card for you aquarius it is about the gifts and the blessings that tower is offering uh that tower is saying that you're going to enjoy throughout the week we do have the eight of wands and went of uh, eight of wands pretty much points to a dynamic Okay, but as the Eight of Wands, it's high risk, high reward kind of card. As the gifts and blessing blessings, it points that you are not going to risk anything throughout the week. So that is your gift. You can do crazy stuff and you ain't going to risk anything from your behalf. So uh, the only thing that comes to my mind right now is that if you love someone monthly, but that person doesn't know about it, well, it's not going to hurt you if you tell him. Uh, the very the very least, you know, at least at the end of the day, you're going to know about it instead of going through the humiliation, you know, of that person unintentionally puts upon you because this is really how things are turning out at the end of the day. One person loves madly the other and the other without knowing is humiliating the other and etc, etc. Et so, yeah, it's kind of like unfolding and revealing yourself without losing anything if things does not work out for you. So the other card here, just one second to put an observation to my camera. Come on. All right. So the other card here for you, Aquarius, is going to be the uh, how people see you, how your friends and family are seeing you, how your person of interest is seeing you, how your partner is seeing you. And with the Tree of Wands, people are seeing you as someone determined to have the things the way they want them to have. So it's someone that does not back, back down on their expectations. And also as a someone that it is quite solid individual, as a, a person very firmly stepped on the ground on the on the on on a foundation if you will having an, an established patterns and therefore uh from those patterns that one is aiming to make something out of it okay to to make a better living for the for for oneself and um in other words, people are going to take you as a very, very serious, serious individual, serious into their intentions, into their love, into, you know, their their trust as well, and etc, etc. So that being said, you're going to make a very strong impression that you are ready for something deeper, for something bigger, all right, and for something more challenging. Because there are those kind of a situation where uh, although two people were loving one another you know one of them thinks that the other isn't ready well if you are the one that you know it's not ready or so that the other one thought well that card points that they're gonna see you ready 
throughout uh, throughout this week. So the next card here represents what is going to help your long term goal. And we do have the Wheel of Fortune. And how can I describe it with the Wheel of Fortune? Well, there are to be, like I said, it's going to be a dynamic week. OK, uh, many things are going to move around for you and for your person of interest and for your lover and so on and so forth. So the Wheel of Fortune here points that there are to be quite a lot of enterprises and some of those enterprises, one in particular, is going to be once in a lifetime opportunity for you to seal the deal or once in a lifetime change for good. And, and under for good, I mean good, good. OK, so like for the better, maybe it is the expression that I am uh, searching for. So what the card here points is seek the initiative. Do not be afraid. You do not risk anything, especially with the eight of wands into the gifts and the blessings. As soon as you have an opportunity to kiss your person of interest, do it. And at least at the end of the day, you're going to know. OK, and you ain't going to waste your time if they uh, repose you back. Because furthering your love and relationship ultimate goal is not being with a specific individual. It's about being with someone that is going to love you. And if this one that it is your interest does not love you, there is no point wasting time on it. Um, at least according to Tarot, that is. So the other card here represents what is going to hurt your long term love and relationship goal. And we do have the full card. And there is only one way how we can interpret this one into this narrative. And it is about being irresponsible and showing that you don't care, showing that you are immature, irreliable, and that you are jumping from one person to another just to take your chances. Here you need to show a, a particular ideal that you do have throughout the week so you you like or love someone that is your option none other until that option tells you other way around or until that option either accepts it or you know repose you just as i said that it is still a availability so uh that being said guys um how can i say it don't take on a um don't take on um, dates that you have no intention to keep on further as a, a further interaction with those people. Just focus on one particular individual, you know, and go by with him or with her until or yeah, until that individual tells you, yes, you know, we are going to be together or no, we are not going to be together in either way. Um, your love, your long term love and relationship goal is you are going to be one step closer to it. So finally, at the end, we do have uh, the nine of uh, wands, which is the lesson, uh, not the lesson, but the guidance that Taro is offering. And nine of wands, it does refer to the connection in between the, the, the two opposite genders, right? The two opposite sex. Uh, it's like the connection in between the man and the woman because nine of wands in Tot Tarot or described by Alistair Crowley, it is the connection in between the moon and the sun, therefore the connection in between the opposites. Okay, and so in that specific particular perspective, uh, maybe it's time to connect with your person of interest in, in case you are single to, like said, reveal yourself. But uh, Nine of Wands is also a about previous experiences or kind of like uh, approaching the situation, taking notes from your previous experience, from previous situations, and this time around doing it as best as you can instead of doing it impulsively, immature, and emotionally biased because doing things emotionally it's the immature way of doing things the mature way is through your mind which is exactly what the uh, energies and the topic itself asks you to do so yeah that being said Aquarius this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys 